right now, we're going to take you out live to Arlington, where Brandon Todd has been speaking with the mother of the man killed in today's deadly bridge accident on Interstate 35 near Salado. Brandon, I'd ask how she's doing, but I know it's been a horrible day for her. So, so what she have to say? Well, you're right, and she was distraught when we talked to her. 32-year-old uh, Clark Davis, her son, uh, lived in Arlington. Uh, mother told me tonight off camera that she was just learning the details, really, of the crash that killed her son. I want to show you a picture of Davis. Uh, he had a girlfriend uh, that uh, he was just getting back together with. Uh, they had a daughter who was seven years old. His mother told me that uh, she just saw him on Sunday. I want to show you some video of his crushed pickup truck, that accident that we've been telling you about on I-35 this afternoon. Davis's mother said that he worked for a company called ProBuild. It's a building supply company, and she said that he was a driver for them, and she was not sure whether he was heading to a job or coming from a job or a, a drop-off or a delivery when he uh, was in that accident, but uh, she said that he would typically do deliveries for them as far away as Austin. Uh, across the state, he would take uh, supplies to various places for that company, and uh, that's what he was doing today, according to uh, to what his mother was saying. Now, he and his girlfriend, she was uh, told me, uh, was we were just getting back together. They were talking about getting married, so the news today, uh, obviously a shock to her. Uh, her. The girlfriend actually came here to Arlington to talk with the mother and give her the details. Uh, the mom uh, said, uh, Steve, that she had not seen any of the news accounts of this. Um, so just a, a, a rough time for her, just too distraught really to talk on camera about this, but uh, we wanted to at least be able to show you those pictures, Steve. Right, right. and I know sometimes it might shock people watching this, but family members want people to know what their loved one was like, and, and he was important to them. I, you mentioned a seven-year-old daughter. Are they going to tell her? Have they? Are they all together now, kind of comforting each other? What's, what's the current well, and, situation? Well, and uh, when I spoke with the mother, she had only learned about this maybe an hour prior to us arriving right. there. So, uh, again, she had questions for me about what happened, what was going on. And uh, these are hard questions to yes. answer, uh, you know, when you're talking to somebody that just lost a loved one, sure. Steve. I understand. Right. Right. Live in Arlington.